guys welcome back to what would daria wear um, i'm gonna do a review on the honeycomber finger comber wig that i'm currently wearing um so stay tuned so let's get right to it the honeycomber wig um, is a longer version of the kinky curl out unit um the, which is the other wig that i was wearing before i received this one um i actually liked it because i like big hair I haven't tried any of the shorter wigs that are offered on Finger Comber. Um, so this was like a, uh-oh, Daria, you're really trying it with this long, big hair. Let's see how many, ooh, I like your hair, you know, comments and compliments you'll get. But um, pretty excited. First things first, um, the wig comes in a regular shipping box, but it also comes inside of this box. Um, and then it's wrapped up, you pull it out, throw it on your head if you'd like. And it also comes with a care guide. Um, and it just tells you how to take care of the wig and things like that and detangle it and um, some basic stuff. And then just pictures of what the wig looks like on. Um, initially, I don't, I don't really have any place to store my wig. So I usually keep these boxes. So once I'm done with the wig or I'm not wearing it, then I'll throw it back in the box. There's probably better ways to store it, but I think that's why they send you these nice boxes so that you can use them. So if it was me and I don't have room to have just wigs sitting up around my house or in the bathroom. So I'm using the boxes. Um, my thoughts on the wig. I love it. I do. It was a, it was a lot to get used to. I will admit that um, because most of the wigs kind of hit me like right here. So I got a whole bunch of extra hair that I had to get used to. I mean, initially, that's kind of what length I want to be at with my natural hair. So um, definitely a cool like tryout session of having longer big hair. Um, and I, I will say, with any kinky curly hair, weave, whatever, and obviously this is a synthetic wig, you have to deal with it kind of, you know, getting a little tangled underneath. This didn't tangle as much as my kinky curl out unit. It usually, it tangles more with the kinky curl out unit, I will say. Um, but this just takes a little, you know, finger detangling each day once you take it off. Because I do not sleep in, in my wigs at all. I can't. My head can't take that. Um, but yeah, I will say that it doesn't tangle as much. Uh, but with it being so much bigger, I have walked by like the stuckle that is in my apartment building and my hair gets caught. Like it's getting caught in hangers as I'm shopping. But what can you do when you got big hair? I mean, it happens, it happens quite often, but I just, okay, and keep it moving. So yeah, I really, I really love the wig. It looks so natural. A lot of people think that it's my hair, which is what I want. Any weave or wig that I wear, it has to look like it could be mine. So you'll be like, even if you don't ask, you, you probably think it's mine. That's, that's where I'm at with protective styles. Um, I think this wig would probably be a top knot wig for me. I know if you follow me, then you know that I am the top knot queen when it comes to big hair. So this would probably be better suited for that, in my opinion, for me. Um, but since I've gotten it for, it's been like two weeks now that I've had this wig and I've been just wearing it down and maneuvering my hair, you know, my natural hair within it. Um, and just went, you know, a little off to the side and Earlier today, I kind of had it like a regular no part type of deal going on. So yeah, I mean, it just, it depends on how you want your hair to be. I, I am gonna do a top knot video for those who have requested it. I'm, I'm gonna help y'all out, it's pretty simple. Um, but yeah, I just, I really like how long it is and how big, it's just, it's like, how can I explain this? It's like, wah, boom, boo, yeah, type of thing compared to the kinky curl out unit. Um, so I can dig it because I like to, 
I like to be different. And if you see my hair before you see me, that's cool. So when you get to know me and, it's in, and meet me, then it's like, man, she got some nice hair and a nice personality. So yeah, um, love it. And I'm going to take it off just so I can show you guys how I put it on if you needed to know how to put it on. So give me a sec. All right, so the wig is off. Um, like I said in my previous finger comber wig video, um, I have my hair in cornrows. This time I only did like three because I was lazy. Did three and then I do two twists in the front. One twist and then I, if because I'm wearing my hair down, I would only leave out one twist um, because two is just way too much hair that you're gonna have to try and finagle to blend in with the wig. Um, okay, so this is the top of the wig. All right, you got one comb, two comb, and then you have two adjustable straps if you want to make it tighter or looser on your head. So don't worry about the size of your head. You should be able to fit the wig regardless. Um, and so, yeah, if you'll see it, it did, it does get kind of tangled a little bit because it's, you know, doing this on your back as you walk or whatever, but it's not bad. Like I said, you just kind of finger comb through it. Um, Look at how natural looking it looks. To be a synthetic wig, I mean, the quality is just, to me, it's just good. I mean, I don't, I don't know how much you would expect from a, a, a synthetic wig. I feel like this is better than what I've seen in like the beauty supply store, so I'll take it. Especially because it's, it's geared toward looking natural. I don't, I don't want a synthetic wig that look like you'll walk up on it and it's like, that ain't her hair, but I'm a girl. You, your hair look cute. Uh huh. Yep. No, <laughs> that that's not what I'm going for. Um. So I I actually love the little curls at the end. I don't know. It just kind of gives it that natural look. Um. What else can I say? I. They do offer a service where you know after a while it will start kind of losing its form. I feel like if you, you're wearing it often, um, you will have to deal with it kind of, you'll lose that curl at the end. Uh, I think it's just natural wear and tear of, of a synthetic wig. So for me, I usually will end up buying a new wig if it's too much, because I have been wearing finger comber wigs for, a year it'll be a year in may so back then last year i was actually in my room like combing it out braiding it curling it at the end and then dipping it in hot water and to me it just took a lot of time and i don't i can't sit down that long for me to really like go through all that but they actually have a service where you can detangle it and send it to them and they'll they'll get it back to its natural curl so that's a great option for those who are like me and you're lazy and you just want somebody else to do it so that there that is an option and you can go on their website um and do that but for the most part usually when mine starts getting out of whack and it's just looking a little wild then i'll just move on to the next week that's just my personal preference um but to me for the most part once it starts to get a little worn, it starts to look even more natural than it already looks. So I don't mind when it, the ends get kind of puffy on certain parts because um, it, it just makes it look, look more natural. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna put it on. Gotta make sure my twists are all in, Lord. Okay, there we go. And just like that, I ain't even really had to do too much finagling to blend it in. Look at that. Hey, girl, hey. <sighs> so, yes, it's been two weeks for this wig that I'm wearing. For the most part, I wear my wigs for about a month or two. And then I kind of get bored. So, so far this year, I've had 
the kinky curl out unit kabishabab i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but i had that one then i had the kinky curl out unit just the regular one and then now i have the honeycomber so a nice little collection of the finger comber wigs but i will say that this or the wigs from finger comber are very convenient that's what i'm always looking for is convenience like of course i i also wear sew-ins with natural kinky curly hair that's like virgin you know human hair i'll wear those in the summertime too just because i i kind of get sick of taking off a wig it's I don't know i just go through periods of time where i'm like all right this is this is easy put it on in the morning take it off in the evening cool but this is convenient as i don't know what even when i go to the gym because that's another thing like i'll go to the gym and i'm like what if i had my hair straight you know like blown out and stuff do you know what your hair will look like after the gym and your hair is straight and you are natural no so i'll put on my my hair sleeve which is some a hair sleeve is what i, I make those um I, I make them they're like just little sleeves that you can push your hair back and you can also do it in like a pineapple um i'll share that with you guys later but and it's also perfect if you are someone who wants to sleep in your wig maybe you you know you don't want to <laughs> want to do the you know not having any hair on you know at night you just want to wake up and then you know pull your hair sleeve off you can always do that as well um but for me i take it off take it off at night just because i don't want the pressure of it like the comb being in the back and in the front of my head and all that that stuff so very convenient pull it on pull it off leave it on if you want um I don't really have anything bad to say about it other than i mean it just gets its own wear and tear so it's it's not gonna last forever you can't expect for this wig to last a year or two as if it was human hair it's synthetic so what i mean i feel like i get the, get tons of wear out of my wigs like once i retire them and move on to a new wig it's because i wore the heck out of it and i feel like i got my money's worth i mean like a hundred dollars eighty eight dollars plus i'll pay for the rush order to me that's chump change compared to people paying four and five hundred dollars for a human hair wig and then paying however much to have somebody put it in or if you're putting it in yourself um it just depends on where you are um as far as wanting convenience and and wanting like a natural look for the low i i, I mean this is a frugal shopaholic over here talking for you I'm tr I try to put y'all on. I hope you hop on. And, and these wigs aren't for everyone. I mean, I feel like maybe it, this wig may be too big for you. There's so many other wigs on Finger Comber that they have, they have a Bantu knot wig, y'all. Bantu knot. Come on. There's so many options. So if you don't want to wear big hair, you can find a Bantu knot wig. You can get a tighter version, one that's like kind of closer to what your actual hair looks like. So if you just want to give your hair a break. I mean, it's it's definitely worth checking out fingercomber.com. Yeah, so this wig is only $88. And like I said, they have the option to do a rushed order for $25, an additional $25. And then if you use my promo code DLOLO, you get a, um, expedited shipping. So I feel like it's definitely worth the money. You'll probably, it'll be like around like 120, something like that. And, and their wigs range between 88 and I think maybe 60, something like that. So it's, it's definitely worth a try if you're looking for something that's more convenient than, you know, doing a twist out on your hair every night or whatever it is that you do with your hair that's taking you too much time. This is definitely that break that you can take for your hair so um yeah with the rushed order um it's it, it gives it's like it'll you'll get it in two days like yeah yeah it's two days um do the rushed order i i prefer it just because i want 
I kind of, when I'm moving on to the next, I want my wig pretty quickly. So it's definitely worth the extra 25. It's just like going to, kind of going to get a blowout or something. Cause I'm pretty sure you spend about $60 anyways, you know? Um, what else can I say? I don't know, I just really love the look. I do. Trying to think of what my next wig will be. Which one I wanna try. But I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video and you felt like it was informative about my honest opinion. Like I said, it has its cons as far as it not lasting as long as a, a human hair wig, but I understand it's synthetic, so I can't expect for it to be lasting longer than a year or six months, like especially with me wearing it every single day. If I wasn't wearing it as often, then I'm pretty sure it would last, last long. Like my mom wears the wigs as well, and she absolutely loves them. She loves them. She, kept buying them and I'm like, mom, you, oops, mom, you can't, you haven't even wore this wig long enough and you, you're buying more. But creatures of habit, we buy stuff that we really like over and over. So try it out. It's worth a try. It's worth a try. We spend hundreds of dollars on clothing and we, half the time, we don't know if it's going to fit because we don't feel like trying it on. So try it out. Go to Finger Comber dot com and look at all the wigs that they have see what really fits you your head size or whatever and and see see what works i'm telling you that i've been using them for a year and i love it it's definitely an option for me throughout the year when i'm not trying to do my hair so i hope you guys enjoyed my video stay tuned for my top knot video top knot tutorial um Thanks, guys.